the SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run, the junior novelization. Chapter 8 That evening at the Krusty Krab's closing time, Mr. Krabs stood at the door saying goodbye to the day's last customers. Thank you, thank you. Come again when your stomachs are empty and your wallets are full. He counted the bills he held in his claw and chuckled with joy. <laughs> then Mr. Krabs crossed the dining room to the cash register and tucked the money into the drawer. Good night, Cashy, he said to the register. I always sleep better on a full stomach, too. He walked over to the kitchen door, opened it, and stuck his head in to yell at Spongebob one last time before he left for the day. Spongebob, be sure the kitchen's ship-shape before you head out, boy, Spongebob answered in a French accent. Oui, oui, Monsieur Bossman Krabs. Once I am done here, this kitchen will be completely spotless. He gave a little bow and giggled. Whatever, Mr. Krabs said, used to Spongebob silly antics, and he remembered something. Oh! He pulled out a tray with the Krabby Patty on it. I found this uneaten Krabby Patty on table six. You know what to do with it. Right away, Mr. K, SpongeBob said, saluting. I'll see that it's disposed of properly. Mr. Krabs gasped in disbelief. Who said anything about disposing of? We'll sell it again tomorrow on our Legacy Arsenal Vintage Throwback Menu. He and SpongeBob shared a laugh, and then Mr. Krabs left for the day. Good night, SpongeBob called after his boss. He carefully placed the leftover Krabby Patty under a glass cover. Hmm, he said to himself, I better start cleaning. He had his work cut out for him. After a long, busy day, the Krusty Krab kitchen was a complete mess with piles of dirty dishes and grease everywhere. SpongeBob walked over to a bucket of soapy water, tossed a mop aside, and jumped in. Splash! He scrubbed himself around the inside of the bucket, with soap bubbles rising out of his mouth. He proclaimed, I'm ready! First, he slid across a counter covered in dirty dishes. By the time he reached the end of the counter, the dishes were sparkling clean. Next, he splatted his soapy body against the wall and flopped across it front, back, front, back, until the wall was wiped clean too. SpongeBob shot down to the floor and cleaned up every tiny drop of grime until it was perfectly clean. He stood to admire his work, then slipped off to fetch a sign that read, Caution, wet floor. He went to the glistening grill and gave it a fond pat. Well, good night, Gertrude. He turned to the fryer. Good night, fryer. He looked through the order window at the food under the glass cover. Good night, Patty. He even said, Good night, pickles, to the pickle jar. He kissed the jar goodnight, shut off the lights, and left. In the pickle jar, an eye opened and looked around to see if the coast was clear. Plankton. He disguised himself as a pickle, which worked well since he was already green. He swam through the, the brine to the top of the jar wearing scuba gear and a an utility backpack. He pushed open the jar's lid from inside, climbed onto the rim, and took off his breathing mask and flippers. Good night, SpongeBob, he said in a low voice. Hello, Krabby Patty. The uneaten patty under the glass dome was sitting on the edge of the order counter. Plankton was sure that if he could get his tiny hands on it, he could analyze the ingredients revealing the secret formula behind the delicious Krabby Patty. Plankton pressed a button on his utility backpack. Sproing! A spring popped out, launching Plankton through the air. He landed on the service counter right next to the covered patty. And now, he said, pressing another button on the backpack. Zoop! A grappling hook fired out of the pack using an electronic remote control. Plankton guided the grabber claw on the grappling hook toward the handle on the glass dome lid. The claw closed around the handle and slipped off. Just gotta get it, Plankton said, concentrating. He guided the claw back to the dome's handle and got it. Ha ha ha! He laughed triumphantly. Yes! The claw released its grip. The dome fell back over the patty. Wait, wait, no! Plankton groaned. No, no! He looked 
at his remote control device, a message was blinking. Insert coin. Stupid coin operated, he grumbled as he dug out a coin and dropped it into the slot. Once again, the claw closed around the handle and lifted the cover. Sweating with effort, Plankton mumbled. Come here, come here. Oh, the claw held the cover suspended over the Krabby Patty. Bingo, Plankton cried, moving toward the patty. He pulled out a set of tweezers from his backpack and eagerly plucked off a chunk of the Krabby Patty. He dropped the precious sample into his utility backpack. A screen on the backpack lit up, analyzing. Plankton could hardly wait. In just a few minutes, he said, barely able to contain his excitement, the secret Krabby Patty formula will be mine. Zer, his utility backpack printed out the secret formula. Yes, Plankton uttered greedily. Krabs fast food empire will fall, and I will rule Bikini Bottom as its new slop king. Stay tuned for chapter 9, coming up soon.